Okay. Whee! All right. So I wanted to make a video um, that's kind of ranty <laughs> and whiny and complainy, but whatever. But my senior year, yeah, um, we had a new principal for that year. Um, and I won't say his name, but the principal. <laughs> and um, his birthday was on Halloween. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with this story because he banned all of the kids or students, not, I mean kids, yeah, whatever, all of the students from wearing Halloween costumes at all. Not just like Halloween costumes that don't fit the dress code, but Halloween costumes at all. And this was a public school, and I guess it's legal because I looked into it. It's legal for you to, um, for a principal to ban Halloween costumes for, like, even if they fit the dress code, for, um, any reason, as long as they have advance notice, like, at least to 24 hours in advance or whatever, and we did, we had, like, two or three days, maybe even a week in advance, because, like, he kept saying in the announcements, like, make sure you don't, you know, wear a Halloween costume to school, and his excuse was because we were too, we are too old for Halloween costumes, which is stupid, because I wear Halloween costumes, and... I'm like 20 and it doesn't, ugh, whatever. Everybody wears Halloween costumes. Old people wear <laughs> Halloween costumes. And, um, anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys all know that's crappy, but yeah, so I think they also said it was a distraction, but like we do friggin' spirit week and, oh, hold on, my cat's scratching. Bella said it. Yeah, so we're, we weren't allowed to wear Halloween costumes basically. But me being a rebel, I did because I thought it was a crap, a crap like rule. So, so I went to school in a Halloween costume anyway that followed the dress code. Even though dress codes are a different story, we all know the crap and stupid. But I followed it to make a point. So yeah, it was just um, okay. It was my attempt at a corpse bride, um, Emily dress costume and it was it wasn't the best but you can tell it was like a dead bride or like a dead like bridesmaid ish look kind of costume it wasn't gory at all it was just the blue I had blue eyeshadow all over my face and you know some eyeliner or something mascara and um so yeah I did find a picture of it um this is edited there was no red in the eye that's like photoshop and the flowers of course are but that's pretty much how it looked with the makeup. So it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't gory or anything. And that's the dress I had, even though you can barely see it. It did fit the dress code, so yeah. And a dress that fit the dress code. It was like two fingers or three fingers. I think, yeah, it was like the three finger roll, yeah. It followed that and it went down like past my knees. You know, it didn't show anything in between, it didn't show my back or whatever. Bella. Yeah, it followed the dress code perfectly, except the fact that it was a Halloween costume, which that is not in the dress code, you just made up the rule, but whatever. So I went to school, and I was on my way to breakfast, like, going from the door to the cafeteria, which is like down the hallway, but you pass by the office first. Before I got to eat my breakfast, before I got to the, ca the cafeteria, the dean walked outside of the, um, the, his office, and, or just the main office, and he's like, you, come here, so, and this is like a school of a thousand people, so, the priorities, but anyway, he's like, you have to take your Halloween costume off, and I'm like, no, <laughs> and I was not the type of person to do this, by the way, like, I was the most quiet, I mean, I was a little bit less shy my senior year, but I was still a super quiet, nice, like, goody kind of kind of person. I never like rebelled. I never fought anyone. I never got suspended or in trouble or anything. I was like, why? I didn't say no. I said, why? Um, and they were like, because it's against the rules or something like that. They didn't say something along the lines of that. And I remember saying, well, it's a religious holiday, so I can wear it because, you know, freedom of religion in public schools and stuff. But because I think technically it is a religious holiday. I don't know. I said it, because I wanted to be all rebellious and shit, but, um, they're like, oh no, we're not bringing it there, something like that, and he's like, you have to call your mom, 
I was like, fine, I will. And then I called her. Um, and I called her and I said, you know, mom, they want me to take off my clothes. <laughs> that sounded way worse. They want me to change my clothes. There you go. It wasn't that kind of story. Anyway, and she said, why? And I said, because. And then <laughs> I guess that really pissed him off. And I heard him ranting to the um, secretary saying, we're adults, since when do we have to, like, we don't have to give an explanation, we're adults. Which is the, the dumbest thing I've ever heard, because adults should have more of an explanation because their brains are fully developed. Why would someone with a fully developed brain not have a reason for what they're doing? Everyone has a reason for what they're doing, and they should understand that. But no, they're just on a stupid power trip. <laughs> but yeah, so. Um, and, uh... I don't know, I was like, yeah, I'll go home, or something. I went to the bathroom before I went, because I had a pee. So, um, I saw my friend there, and she had a... I can't think of what it's called, but it's like... I'll insert a picture or something. It's like... I found a picture, um, and I got her permission to use it, too. But the, um, the veil, she wasn't wearing, I don't think, that day. It was just the makeup. But they made her go home, too. And we, I guess uh, I found out later that we were the only two that were sent home. So, and it was so pretty. She was like, I'm not washing this off just because they told me to. Like, I'm going to spend the whole day in this and night because I tried really hard. And it's not even a costume. It's just face paint. But, yeah. I mean, I guess some people got away with, like, subtle um, little festivity, like, like costume-ish type things. But, no, I, I didn't want to, like, hide the fact that I was wearing a costume. I just wanted to wear a costume. Like, anyway. So, I mean, I made a point. It was like civil disobedience, basically. Because I think that's a stupid rule, and it's not distracting. And, I mean, Spirit Week is more distracting than Halloween is, because that you can wear whatever, and then people don't follow the dress code during Spirit Week. So, why, when I'm following the dress code during Halloween, I get all yelled at. Ugh, power trip. But anyway. Yeah. So... I went home after that, like me and my friend were both mad, and then we, my mom was pissed, and I don't remember if she called the school, but I know she called um, the news people, our local news network, and they re responded with like, we would, like it sounds like an interesting story, but it's perfectly legal, but I think it would be an interesting story even though it's legal, but I don't know, they didn't want to, they didn't want to talk about it, but I'm talking about it, because I think it's interesting, so. Yeah, that's basically it. I don't know. Like, I, I went back to school for theater just because it was like my fifth class out of six classes that day. So basically I just skipped the last, or the first few classes. I'm like, you know, since since I have an excuse to skip class, then I will. So um, I went back for the fun class, and then I went back for um, drama club that day. And when I went back, everyone's like, my teacher was like, what happened? You're like, people are talking about you, and I'm not used to that at all because... I was just a little dumb little kid, I don't know. And I felt so popular. I'm like, yeah, like I just I just you know, I just obeyed them because it's against my beliefs. I'm like whatever. I don't know. I was all rebellious, I felt cool. But I mean that's not the reason why I did it. I did it because it was an annoying rule and I didn't think it was right. But I felt so cool afterwards. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's pretty much it. So that's the story of like how I got kicked out of school for wearing a Halloween costume. So yeah, if you like that, give it like a thumbs up because it helps me, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I do covers and stuff too, but I kind of like this idea of like cool story times too. Story times are always fun. <laughs> subscribe to all my social medias, check out my other videos, have a lovely day, peace out, bye friends.